Hello and welcome back to Gomer Plays Zoda's Revenge Star Tropics 2! Yes, I'm actually getting it right. <laughs> Last time we went through prehistoric times, the Ice Age, and we rescued a bunch of kids from a yum yum. And now we're in ancient Egypt, where we don't have to talk to everybody, thankfully. Uh, we only need to talk to certain people. Um, just, yeah, you know, just everybody on the barge. There's a kitty. I like the kitty. Can I take a kitty with me? I'm gonna take care with me. Oh dear. Long live our beautiful queen. The queen. I keep the queen cool. I. You might say I'm one of her biggest fans. Ah ha 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 ha! And somewhere my girlfriend is glaring. Uh. <laughs> oh. Now that is a sign of love when you can exchange horrible puns with each other and 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 just. <laughs> Uh, I am Cleopatra, Queen of the Nile. What brings you to my barge? I blah 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 blah. I was sick of tetrads, time traveling, blah 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 blah. Hmm, maybe able to help you. I know of this tetrad, and I could take you to it for a price. Ooh, I wonder where the price is. Um, indentured servitude. Um, um, a grain, you know, a vial of sand from a faraway land. Um, um, Nero's head on a pike. Um, a, be, um, a slave boy for seven days, which wouldn't be too bad. Um, well, what's your price? Do you like pizza? Well, I love pizza. Hey, so do I. <laughs> it's my favorite. I ordered a large pepperoni. It's taken way too long. It's been three days already. Three days. I'd fire that delivery boy. Or girl. Why must they keep their queen waiting? It makes me so angry. Yeah, it would me too. Bring me my pizza and I will take you to the Tetrad. And hold the anchovies, okay? Well, you ordered pepperoni, so you should get pepperoni. I mean, you know, we joke about pizza places at times, but come on now. Now, there are two ways you could do this next tunnel. You can just go straight there, or you could do what I'm going to do. And go through this hidden area. Yeah, see, Mr. Jack of all trades. That's his name. Will you? I will trade you for my bronze dagger. Yeah, sure, why not? You get your weapon upgrade. Now, if you don't do this and you take on the next tunnel and talk to Cleopatra after getting her pizza, she will give you a dagger. So you have to get it one way or the other. Uh, this just allows you to get it early and makes the next area a little easier. Uh, which is what I tend to do anyway. Um, uh, going for pizza, huh? Yep. Cross the border. Woo! So let's see. Crossing the border here. Um, if we're going underground, does that mean we're crossing over into like Israel and Jordan and shit? Because that'd be kind of interesting. Uh, I don't know how big of uh, area Egypt was back in those days, but, you know, hey. Ah. So, yeah. Those guys, they shoot. This guy, if you remember from the last chapter, if you remember the bears from the last chapter, that's basically what these guys are. Um, just with knives. And you can hit them with daggers. Um, then you find switches. First, this first area with switches and blocks. <coughs> Excuse me, if you remember the previous game, you actually had to jump on these, whether they were activated or not. Now you can just walk over them. If they activate, then, you know, it'll let you know with that little doop -doop thing. And you can open up chests, get things like, oh, slingshots, which I think there's not much difference in the way, in, in, um, um, firing distance. Oh, hi. Uh, I'm going to show off. Maybe. I hope. <laughs> that was, that was a near thing. Ah, okay. Oh, these things. These little porcupine hedgehog things. If you line up with them in any of the four cardinal directions, they'll charge at you, with you know, invincibly. Ah, get away from me! This is not what I said meant when I wanted a gangbang. Huh? There we go. Whew. So yeah, lots of things I want to explain, and I'm going a little fast. <laughs> uh, truth be told, this is actually my uh, second or third time trying to actually record this. Um, because my uh, emulators, as I've mentioned in a couple of videos uh, that have went up, my emulator and fraps have not been playing nicely for whatever reason. And, oh hey, these guys like to hide. I could just leave them be, but, eh, I want to do that. <laughs> um, but they haven't been playing nicely, and I'm kind of getting sick of it. I've fiddled around with a few things. Hopefully that'll work a little bit better in the long run. We'll have to see. Um, well, if, this, if you guys are actually watching this, then we'll know the answer to that one. It's a, it either worked or it's acceptable enough. Because um, some there are times where you know, obviously, a few of the videos that you'll have seen by now, uh, namely chapters six and eight from the Star Tropics run, um, yeah, that, that I was able to work around or what have you. Um, and I think one of the Ducktales videos as well. 
um, you know, and I think the first Earthbound video, I'll, I'll have this issue that I just kind of work around a bit. Ugh, but, you know, I've been tinkering with it, trying to get it working. Hopefully this is actually taking. <laughs> uh, uh, look at here, little hedgehog. You are not Sonic. You're not blue enough. Whee! Now, from those second levels up there, I believe you get, like, maybe a half a block to a full block of distance extra. Alright, okay, so this this right here was where I was actually having troubles with the uh, emulator in Fraps earlier. So it seems to be, hey, a boss! Right outside the boss, too. Well, the first boss of this chapter. There's actually two bosses. Ow, 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 shit! That was rough, dude. Wait, I have medicine. What am I doing? What? At least bosses, if I, if I were to touch that boss, it would not be instant death, thankfully. Uh, although it really should. That, that's... That kind of makes sense to me. Uh, oh, that was close. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, well, yeah, technical problems. I think I've bitched all of them out now. <laughs> You've done it! Now, saving your data, blah, 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 blah. Now, I did have, like, a, uh, a game, like... I did, like, a run before I started this. I could have just went and did the... Uh, you know, when, when pulling this all together, I could have just went and, yeah, rent a camel, sure. All right. So while this goes, you know, I really could have just done a, like a review thing and you wouldn't have to see, like, it would go a little bit faster. But I like starting from the beginning. It's a little more authentic <laughs> for me. Um, but that's the, like, that's one of the things I like about the Star Tropics games, though, is you can actually go back and review and play previous levels just to play them again or see if you can do better, you know? That's actually a thing, and this is why it's taking three days for Cleopatra to get her pizza. Is, is, you know, you're riding a Koopa Troopa. You know the way to the Nile? I've got a special delivery. Large pizza was at, with extra pepperoni for our best customer. Yeah, seeking pizza, Cleopatra, blah, 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 blah. Okay, good. We got a pizza. At least we don't have to worry about it getting too cold, because we're in the fucking desert. No time to waste. Run, run, hurry, hurry! <laughs> the pizza's still warm. I would hope so. You're in the middle of a desert. I would be worried if a pizza is not warm in the middle of a desert. Uh. Okay, here we go. There we are. And you have the pizza. Quick, give it to me before it cools. Yes, you get the pizza. Nom nom. Yes, have your pizza. Now can you take me across the Nile? Uh, maybe. Oh. You know, I thought it was extra pepperoni. What the hell are those green things? She asked for pepperoni with extra pepperoni, right? So it looks like she's got, like, like onions on there. Nom 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 nom. Oh, and Caesar's hut. Ha 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 ha. Come closer, Mike. Okay. I didn't control this one. Um, okay. Hello. She is a knockout, indeed. Um, cleavage boobs. <laughs> Let me take you to the tetrad, okay? <laughs> Whee! All that just to get a little trip across the Nile. <laughs> Not a problem, though. Hi. To the south, you'll find a great pyramid. The tetrad is rumored to be within its walls. Bravely face the dangers of the pyramid, and you'll reach the tetrad. Good luck on your journey. Take a look, good close look, fellas and ladies, and everybody who 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 wants. There you go. Cleopatra, eight bit form. Yeah, complete with cleavage. <laughs> uh, well, I have a feeling like the, uh, the she's probably more romanticized as we do as we tend to do with historical figures. Now. You can go straight to the pyramid, but you can't get in without the psychic shockwave. Um, I'm not going to waste time doing that. What I am going to do is go for the psychic shockwave, which you get up in the north. Whoop! Yeah, this area. Monkey! Monkey! So this area, it's a maze. A lot of it's covered until you get up here. And then you have to kind of, kind of, kind of memorize a little bit how you want to go, where you want to go. And then just kind of go a little less... You still go blind, but you're not as blind once you, you know, look up and figure it out. There are maps online, and I think even Nintendo Power, when they had this, when they featured this game, um, they actually had maps for all these areas. And, of course, it's not complete without some random mini dungeons. Listen to that music. Whee! Oh no, it's Killer Ducks! Unloaned from Battletoads, apparently. Oh! 
I am an idiot. Ah! I, I started pressing down a little too soon. That was stupid of me. Ah. Uh, okay. So, yeah. Ducks on loan from Battletoads, as I was saying. And these guys shoot at you. Uh, oh, there we go. Whee! Eh. Ah, there we are. And yeah, we could just go this way. Ah, uh, oh. We got a door to open. Ah, hippo. Hippos are very dangerous, even in video games. Yeah, I heard hippos will eat a dude, like in reality. It's just, no. But then I tend to stay away from animals that are bigger than me. Okay. So there's a piece, there's a heart container down there. Looks like I could just go to the left and up and around. Um, and I can even double check where I can turn right up here. So, okay. So, yeah. We're good to go. Let's go get that heart container. <laughs> um, I think I'll need, to, I'll want to go to the left after I'm done with all of this. So let's get this. Uh, a big heart. Not heart container, but big heart. There we go. Your life level is increased. Hmm. Ah, pardon me. I needed to drink there. Woo! Okay. So we go to the left. Yay. This is... This is probably one of the most frustrating levels for me when I was a kid, definitely. Um, it's still... It's not as frustrating now as, as an adult. But as a kid, I hated this. <laughs> I was like, God damn it. Hmm. Okay, wanna go this way. Wanna go this way. Uh, well, maybe? Almost? Uh, damn it. That's why. Uh, eh, there we are. Now let's make sure we got it. Okay, so we go up, up at this point and then try making our way to the left. Okay. Oh. So, whoop. And there we go. And out we go. And another mini dungeon. Because, of course. Damn, how many dungeon musics do they have in this game? They went from a game that had, like, two dungeon musics and, like, a bo one boss mus one boss theme to, like, all of this. Like, like si I think there's, like, a total of six or seven dungeon themes in this game. And then, like, I think at least two boss themes. So, I, I think, you know, you got the regular bosses, and then you got the fights against Zoda. Not that it's a, not a, it's a spoiler, I mean, the game is named after him, you know? Eh, bye-bye. Whee! Oh, all these jellyfish and no spikes. Damn. Eh, come on, come here. Thank you. Not that I needed to, because the way is already open, but, you know, why not? J all right, let's just go. Ow! Fucking duck. Okay, there we go. All right, do I have any others? No. Nope. Hey, there's the monkey. And I believe he's going up, so that's where we need to go. Uh, oh, wow, we gotta go the long way. Lovely. Um, can we make it? Can we go any further this way? Please tell me, please tell me we can, please tell me we can. Yes! Maybe. I hope. Good. Alright. Up we go. And... And... Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's tedious even for me. I've Like I said, I've been through this... You know, I've, I've played this as a kid. So, you know, I've played it a lot more as an adult. I've been through this plenty of times. It's still tedious as fuck. I do not like this area. Ugh. Just, just because you have to occasionally keep checking keep going and keep mo you know keep going up there to check you have to do trial and error because you can't see everything uh, but you know what in the end you, it's worth it oh finally we're out uh hi how you doing monkey hi welcome mike i have been expecting you you shall well, I'll be a monkey's uncle yeah special ability the power of the mind You've got the Psychic Shockwave, which right now is kind of weak, but, you know, we'll be able to break barriers, strike down certain enemies. Now be gone with you! 
Because you're right in front, now you're in front of the Sphinx. Okay. And you get a free pass to the pyramid, so that's not so bad. <laughs> uh, so what does it do? Like I said, it can break down certain barriers. Only certain enemies can only be killed with a Psychic Shockwave. And cer certain enemies behave a little bit differently if you use it. Now this one does get powered up a little bit throughout the game as well. Um, like this barrier here. Can't do that. You need to use your mind. Okay. Now this is relatively weak compared to your main weapon, naturally. But uh, you'll be alright. Some enemies you have to use it. And they, they, they do exist here. Snakes! Why does it have to be snakes? Uh, that's okay. Oh, and I believe this is the area that first introduces us to false floors. There we go. Yep, false floors. Uh, I hate false floors. Whee! Okay. Not that I need that. And fire. These fire pillars and everything. Okay. Aw, oh, really? And that one is the only one. Ooh, shit, that was close. Because these spikes, I believe they work just like water. So, yeah, I don't want to land on them. These these creatures, the only they're only damaged by the Psychic Shockwave, as far as I know. I don't think even special weapons work on them. Ah. <sighs> Oh, big guy. Big mummies. Big mummy, little mummies. Um, there we are. Open up the chest. Get some medicine. Oh, yeah, these platforms. You jump on it, the next one in the series appears, and then it disappears after a few seconds. Uh, kind of like, kind of similar to Yoku blocks, except, you know, they only activate when you actually touch one. Except for the first one. Oh, that was easy. Yeah, watch, they're going to throw three at us at some point. Okay, any of them here? Nope, that's okay. Whew, that was close. I think I want to go this out way. Oh yeah, the first level with conveyor belts, too. They start out slow like this, but eventually later in the game they're going to get really fucking fast. And they can and will drop you into pits and shit. So, that's another thing to be cautious about. These guys never die. They just do that. So when you hit one, you gotta be careful where they are. Be mindful where they are, blah, 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 blah. Alrighty. Whee! And hope he did not land on a... Oh, 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 there we are. Okay, here we go. Woo! Yeah, those guys can be a pain in the ass if if you're not careful. And even if you are, they can be. Oh, hey! The signs are back. Ow. Yeah, well, you know what? I'm, I'm taking you out from over here. Fuck you. Plus one. Okay, that's good. Extra life! Okay. Oh, two of these. Ow. Hey, come on. Yeah. I uh, may as well use the medicine. I'll probably be able to get another one in a little bit. I'm not too worried about it. Now, see? Ow. Oh, you little shit. Ooh. Okay. And now you. Yeah, I am not going to show off what I mean by those things pushing you into spikes. I'm not doing that. Not not, not with this video, at least. Uh, not on, not intentionally. Hi, I, I don't think I didn't see you. Uh, I, I, uh, yeah, thy name is Tedium. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, there we are. Hey, hearts. Okay. Oh, oh little baby mummies. You know, that, that that leaves something, you know, either these mummies were like midgets or these were children. You know, they, they raised the corpses of children to attack me. 
There's some nightmare fuel for you. Ow. Ah. Now this room, it does hold a secret. And you'll see what I mean. And it has to do with that symbol on the floor. Uh, but for now, let's move on. Hey, big mummies. Are you my mummy? Apparently not. Ah. Uh. And meanwhile, every Doctor Who fan in the audience is like, Oh, hey, he made a, he made that reference. Whether it's a good thing or a bad thing is up to you. Because <laughs> I think everybody ma has made that reference at least once when it comes to mummies. See? Told you I'd get another medicine. <laughs> uh... Alright. Uh, we open this chest. We get a flute. A flute. Why do we need a flute? Well, you need a flute because well, this is ancient Egypt. What do you think? What do you think you do with flute? What do you think they did with flutes in like ancient Arabia and ancient Egypt? Hmm. You summon snakes with them. Of course. You know, snake charmers and such. I wonder how many people nowadays would have been able to figure that out on their own. Without the use of, like, guides or whatever. Although I think there was at least one, um, one hint before you come in. Uh, like, like the snake that's sitting, sit, hanging out outside the pyramid. You know, mentions, like, a charming melody or something. Oh, that was close. Oof. And obviously if you're on there too long and it does go down, it will take you down with it. And you will die. Uh, there we are. Two medicines. Uh, uh, nah, no, no, go away. Thank you. Ah, boss time. To tank him in a. I don't even remember what the guy's boss boss's name is, but it actually looks really cool for the NES. Eh, come on. Naturally, you just gotta work your way up here. Yeah. Oh wow, that was easier than I thought it would be. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. I forget the boss's name, but I had some has something to do with King Tut, of course. Ah, wow, you've done it. We're finally at the end of the chapter. Oh my God, finally! It seems like it felt like it took a while to get there. Ah, uh, but hey, you know. Sometimes it happens. Mm. So we, for that, we get the second Tetrad. What? Eee. And Tetrads also magically give you more life. You know, I, I, I'm digging this. Digging this. Let's see. All right, let's use the Oxford Wonder World. Go to the next page. Say the magic word. Pa, 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 um, pa, pa, mau, mau. Um, pa, pa, mau, mau. This is radical. You are so 90s. <laughs> That's so 90s right there. Uh, whee! Uh, so we go through time and space once again. Where do we end up? Let's find out. Mm -hmm. Ooh. This looks classy. Where am I? Oh, here's an address. 221B Baker Street, London. Sounds familiar. And we're going to start looking around next time. <laughs> oh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you like this, uh, you can do several things. You can do the usual like, subscribe, comment, blah, 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 blah. And if you want to pitch in more directly because advertising revenue is kind of shit for me at this point, um, there is always patreon.com slash gomer21xx. And for, you know, a dollar per video that gets actually posted there, you can get things like early access, I'm actually going to be starting to do uh, some commentary on some of my older review videos that I've done that you, that patrons are going to get first. I, I'm going to put them up and then probably release them like a month or two after the patrons get to see it. So um, you get first access to all of that, plus other goodies at other patron levels. But check it out, patreon.com slash gomer21xx. It help, it, it's so far people that have... You know, pledged to me through Patreon. They've helped me get things like the mic I'm using, the mic stand I'm using, uh, the controller I use to play these games, and even fraps. So 
so so when I say it do every dollar does help I do mean that it really does help um, but yes thank you guys for watching and until next time this is Gomer the ranting thespian is signing off